This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Meredith Barrick, and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. More protections for your children making their way through the legislature with a bill that started with a call six investigation. Today, a state Senate committee unanimously approved a bill that would lead to more testing for radon in schools. Radon is the number one cause of lung cancer among non smokers, and call six found that almost all Indiana schools had not tested for the gas. Senate Bill 632 will require the state to distribute radon testing information to schools. The American Lung Association and a radon testing company testified in support of the legislation. Looking to rake in some extra bones in today's hiring Hoosiers, we're looking into an app where you can do just that. WAG allows animal lovers to earn money simply by walking dogs. After passing a background check and a few dog related tests, you could be well on your way to making up to $12 an hour plus tip. We spoke to WAG walker Francis Santos, who says if you're a dog lover like her, it doesn't feel like work. Now, if you are interested, remember it is a physical job. You have to walk roughly for half an hour to an hour on average, and you will work with dogs of all sizes. Now, if you're interested in sniffing out a job with WAG, you can head to HiringHoosiers.com. Todd. All right, throughout the remainder of the day, there'll be some patchy drizzle here or there, but it's all rain as temperatures will stay above freezing throughout the daytime hours. Once we get to the overnight hours, temperatures do fall back below freezing, so there could be a little refreezing of the slush on the side of the roads or on the roads and sidewalks and parking lots, so be aware of that. Also, the potential for a little bit of patchy fog will develop overnight with temperatures in the 20s, so as you get out the door tomorrow morning, just be aware of a few slick spots across parts of the air and then reduce visibility, especially to the north where there's a little more in the way of a snowpack, but throughout the day tomorrow, otherwise partly sunny skies, temperatures will be climbing up to right around 40 degrees. Believe it or not, by Saturday, we could be talking about highs right around 60. Todd, thank you for more weather and stories you need to know. Download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.